Hello everyone, this is Vrishali and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In previous session, we discussed about complete uh, network layer of OSI model and we also discussed about transport layer services with examples. I have mentioned a complete computer network subject playlist link in below description box. Now, in today's session, we will discuss the next important topic that is TCP header format. Let's start the session. At the end of the session, you should learn about complete TCP header format with their fields with example. And at the end, we will discuss a question bank. Now, the first point is what exactly TCP header format. As we discussed earlier, in OSI model, there is a transport layer. And under transport layer, TCP and UDP, both protocols are used. So TCP is connection oriented protocol. TCP protocol used to help the connection or to establish the connection between sender and the receiver. TCP protocol also ensure that proper or accurate information is received by the receiver. So basically, it manage the complete communication flow between sender and the receiver. Now, this is a TCP header format. As per your exam point of view, this diagram is important. So this TCP header format is very important to resolve the network communication issues. So let's discuss in detail. Now, see here in this diagram. So in this TCP header format, the first field is called as source port. So the size of source port is 16 bit. The total length is 32 bit. So source port hold the port number of source application. For example, there is a client and server. Server send particular information to the client by using HTTP a particular website. So the port number of HTTP is 80. Again, another example, suppose you want to download a particular file. So at that time, FTP protocol is used and their port number is 21. So this is called as source port. Next one is destination port. The size of destination port is also a 16 bit. So destination port hold a port number of transmitting application. Every computer, every system having their own port number. So consider that client port number is 491502. By using ipconfig command, you can search your port number. So this is a source port number and this is a destination port number. The next field is sequence number. The length of sequence number is 32 bit. As we discussed earlier in transport layer, a large file divided into the smaller pieces, which is called as segments. So every segment is having a sequence number. Through that sequence number, this file sent to the receiver. Receiver receive those file and reassemble all the segments in proper sequential order. So this sequence number stored a first data byte of every particular file. Now, the next is acknowledgement number. The length of acknowledgement number is 32 bit. See, as we discussed earlier, in a TCP protocol, there is three way handshake protocols are used. First, sender send synchronization protocol to the receiver. Receiver is ready to accept the data. Then they send acknowledgement to the sender. And sender send information to the receiver. Receiver send acknowledgement signal that is receive a particular information correctly. So this is called as acknowledgement. Let's take an example. Suppose sender send 5000 byte of data to the receiver, right? And receiver receives successfully 4999 byte of data. Now receiver waiting for next byte of data that is 4999 plus 1. So this is called as acknowledgement signal. Receiver always send acknowledgement signal to the sender to check that a particular information received correctly. The next field is called as data offset field. So TCP header size is 4 byte. Now data offset means this tells that actual data begin after the header. For example, there is total 4 bytes of data. So your data offset is 5 and header is 20 byte. So 5 into 4, that is 4 byte of header file is there. This is your offset number. So 20 bytes of data is there. And after 20 bytes, your actual information will be started. So this is a complete 20 byte of data. The next field is called as reserved field. So there is a three bit of field, which is a reserved for future use. These bits are actually unused, which is kept for some uh, future practical purpose, some protocol extension purpose. Now, 
the next bit is called as flag bit so the size of flag is 9 bits in tcp protocol there are some flags are used to regulate the communication properly the first flag is called as synchronize sender send synchronize flag to the receiver so receiver again send acknowledgement that receiver is ready for accepting the data so synchronize flag is responsible for connecting sender and the receiver this is a first flag now the next one is acknowledgement receiver send acknowledgement to the sender that receiver received a particular information correctly the next flag is finish which was indicated by fin it informs that tcp connection is terminated or not terminated and last one is reset reset flags flag mainly used to reset the connection when an errors are occur if receiver didn't receive a appropriate message then sender resend the message so at that time reset flag is used now the next field is window field as we discussed earlier in tcp protocol they use sliding window protocol we already discussed sliding window protocol in previous session so sliding window protocol generally used to maintain the flow of communication consider that the receiver window size is 10000 so sender send only 10000 bytes of data to the receiver they maintain the flow they send the data as per the limitations of the receiver so this size have mentioned in this window field now the next field is checksum field so checksum field generally used to detect the errors in particular tcp header format or in actual information format so checksum is work like a security or privacy sender send a particular information along with checksum checksum means a particular value and receiver sender send this information to the receiver receiver also verify that checksum if both checksums are match sender checksum and receiver checksums are match then only they got the accurate information if receiver checksum is different and sender checksum is different then there are particular errors in that information they can't can't ensure the integrity of the data so this is called as checksum so this bits have stored in this particular field now the next field is called as urgent pointer urgent pointer field is for 16 bit so here urg this flag is used when this urg flag set to 1 means a particular information is need to proceed immediately urgent information is there or urgent data is there so this is called as urgent pointer they show the priority of the information they want to send or that want to proceed let's take a example suppose there is a telnet application in telnet application urgent pointer always set to 1 it indicate that suppose there are some interrupt signals so this interrupt signals are immediate attention is required so urgent pointer is used urgent pointer value is 1 means particular information is important and when it is set to 0 means information is not important you can proceed as per the time limit now the next field is called as option field so option field length is variable length this length is as per the 0 by 2 40 byte so generally this field is used for tcp extension purpose the main importance of a particular option field is they used for following purpose like time stamp window size extension maximum segment size or padding purpose time stamp means sender send a particular information to the receiver in segments format so every segment having a particular time so this time is managed by this time stamp protocol window size extension means before communication receiver and sender decide the window size suppose receiver want 100 bytes of data only this is the size of the receiver window so sender send a particular size data only this is a maximum segment size also segment size is also decided before communication have started and now another one is padding in padding some dummy nodes have created dummy information have created so that's why there is no wastage of memory so this is a option field now the last one is data field the length of data field is so variable so data means actual information that have transmitted sender send a particular information to the receiver so this is the actual information is called as data 
Consider that if you download a particular web page, so at that time HTML code for the page have downloaded, right? So this is called as actual information. When you send email to the another person, so this email is called as actual information. So this is called as TCP header field. So source port means port number of source device, port number of destination device. Sequence number means every sequence having a sequence number. Acknowledgement number means the receiver send acknowledgement to the sender that they get the accurate information. Data offset bit is there to set data bit and after that actual information have started. Reserve bit for future purpose and there are different flags are used for communication purpose. Then there is a window field. Window field decide the how many bytes of data sent at a time to the receiver. Checksum field is used for to find out the error detection. Urgent pointer is used when there is a information that have proceed on urgent basis. And options, there are different options regarding the window size, maximum segment size and timing related. And last one is data. So data means actual information. So this is called as completely TCP header format. So as per your exam point of view, this is one of the most important question that is draw and explain TCP header format for six marks or sometimes this question will ask for eight marks. So at that time, uh, a complete diagram and their explanation is necessary. So this is all about TCP header format. Thank you. Keep learning.